Now, there's this great show called Cosmos. Neil deGrasse Tyson has done them. And one of the episodes, it's one of the, in the first season, I think it's like somewhere around episode three, maybe. Go and find it. And they talk about dogs and how dogs have had selective breeding over time. So it's really fascinating to find out. Did you know that if you went back far enough in time, like let's say you went back, I think it's around 5,000 years ago or 10,000 years ago, there was no such thing as dogs. Isn't that crazy? But there were wolves, the gray wolf. All dogs alive today are descendants from the gray wolf. Now picture this. How could that have happened? Uh, let's say there's family sitting around a fire, say 5,000 years ago, cooking some meat. Gray wolf smells the meat cooking. But get this, this gray wolf had a mutation in its DNA, which allowed it to be a little tamer. So it wasn't as wild and aggressive as usual. So it's not really afraid of humans. It walks up, you know, the family sitting around the fire, they sort of look over. And they see this wolf and they're like, ah, what's going on? Is it going to attack us? But it just kind of looks at them. It's not showing its teeth or anything. It's not growling. But it smells the food. So the family takes a piece of meat and they throw it. They throw it over to the dog. Sorry, it's not a dog yet. It's a wolf. They throw it over to the wolf. And the wolf eats it. And it sort of has this moment like, hey. If I hang out with these humans, I can get free food. So you can imagine that this could have happened time and time again. This gray wolf sort of becomes their pet, right? This gray wolf then reproduces with another wolf. Well, some of those pups are going to have the aggressive normal genes. And some of the pups are going to have that more calm gene. So what they could do over time is if there was a really aggressive uh, wolf pup, they could just murder it and keep the calm ones. I know it sounds barbaric, but you can imagine this happened many, many, many times over generations, generations. And eventually you end up with this sort of calm wolf type uh, pet. And then you can imagine over tons of time that other mutations and things start to happen. So let's say now you've got this calm wolf that people are starting to use um, for hunting and it, they sort of live with them and, and all that. Then let's say there's a mutation where you get this miniature wolf all of a sudden because it's like a dwarfism type wolf. Well, some people may have liked that. They thought, oh, this is better for climbing into rabbit holes and getting rabbits. So then they start selectively breeding to try and create more of these small little wolves. So you can see how you can start to get these different types of dogs from a gray wolf. Originally, now this is not natural selection. This is artificial selection, also known as selective breeding. So over time, that's how we end up with a Chihuahua or a Great Dane. Isn't that fascinating? I love that stuff. Check it out. Cosmos is the show and it talks about dog evolution. Boom.